Hi, William. We're going to be doing something like this today. Glare is not the best. William, did you have a good weekend? Doing well. Let's see. We'll get started here in just a minute. Weekend was pretty good. Um, it was busy. I ended up uh, presenting at a conference on Saturday morning, a national art conference uh, virtually, and that was kind of fun. And then I went out to our family's lake house um, and just relaxed Saturday night, try to get jet skis all ready. So um, I think we're going to go back out there this weekend. But. Had to come back and get ready. Super Joe, how are you doing, man? I'm, I'm enjoying the kindergarten uh, kids coming in. That's, that's fantastic. I'm glad you could, you could join today. That's great. Um, Joe, did you have a good weekend? Did you guys do anything fun? get started in a few minutes. If you guys are logging in now, uh, just say hi. Uh, so far, we have. I'm looking and I'm seeing, and I have two people. So, good movies, huh? And soccer. Hannah and Jacob, excellence. Uh, that's fantastic. I'm glad you guys are here as well. Uh, you guys are art creating machines over there in Bernie. Um, good job. I saw Hannah with. Uh, or a slice of cake. Now, if you guys have not painted it already, you guys can paint it or you can keep it that paper color. That's uh, no big deal. Um, we'll get started in just a few minutes. All right, Karen. Good to see you. Good to see you. I'm glad that you made it in. Excellent. Uh, Karen, I was going to tell you that um, I was driving back from the lake yesterday and uh, stopped off and um, dropped off uh, my, my grandmother's uh, birthday present. And... Uh, then we ended up FaceTiming, as crazy as that sounds. Um, that was fun, but um, yeah, I think that was our first FaceTime. Quite the experience, so. Um, all right, we've got, uh, I'm sorry, I'm forgetting Sarah Lane, um, which, trying to place, <laughs> trying to place uh, kids with, with adults. So, um, oh, Gabriel, excellent. Uh, Sarah, what, uh, who is your child? Uh, if you can't, uh, um, we'll get started here in just a minute, give everybody an opportunity to get going, but, um, or maybe Sarah, you're just here, I'm ready to hit. 
ready to do some art. Um, it's raining. Yeah, you know what? Uh, so I taught uh, seventh grade for the first time today. Did middle school, uh, and then after my middle school class, I went and for a walk, and I got rained on, and then and I came back and uh, had some breakfast and did uh, my high school class, and then I did another. I went another walk on our hike and bike trail and behind her house and uh, oh, Layla, hello, and uh, then we. So then I came back and I changed and got all ready for, for today's af for after uh, this afternoon's uh, art project. So um, hope everybody had a good weekend. Um, what I wanted to do is I wanted to tell you guys uh, about what's going on. I will continue to do the art projects uh, here at Facebook Live, and then um, I will upload those to uh, my web page as well as for my students at school i will upload them to your seesaw apparently there's some problems going on with seesaw uh, right now um, people are having some problems logging in i don't know if you are having problems logging in but um, it's kind of one of the reasons why i have done uh, multiple uh, locations on this so um, trying to put it oh the voos hello i'm trying to put it out as and as many different locations so you have as much access um hey nam how you doing bud um as many different access points to art projects as you can and um, i had to send an email out um saying that these videos will be hey lily um will will be available on your seesaw after three o'clock it takes me about an hour to download them and then upload them a few times um there's some unfortunate uh decisions that are uh, have been made uh about some things and i uh, don't quite understand uh the controlling aspect of it but um i will get the videos up to seesaw at after three o'clock but i will be doing these videos uh live streaming one at one o'clock texas time every single day and uh, you can spend some time with me and and uh, comment as much as you'd like and uh, do some fun stuff. So uh, hope you're, I'm going to begin. Uh, it's now 104 uh, Texas time. So we're going to, we're going to start. Um, I am going to be working with mixed media. Now mixed media is basically where you take uh, a couple different kinds of art and put them together. So maybe you paint and then you cut cut that painting out and then glue it down into a collage that would be mixed media. I, today, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using oil pastels and watercolors. And if you do not have any of those materials, um, don't worry about it. Just do what you can. Um, uh, I was made aware that, uh, made aware of the fact that uh, Michael's as well as Jerry's Artorama are doing curbside pickup uh, for art supplies so if you are not um you are not uh you don't have any art supplies you can um get them i was asked to do uh and i was also asked uh if i could put the week's uh, art projects available at the beginning of the week so i wanted to tell you i really um i really want that to happen uh but i'm but as I said in my reply, I've learned five different live streaming uh, softwares. Um, I've learned the nuances of each one and how to uh, upload them to Google Drive and make them shareable and um, then share them with you. Uh, I've created about 15 web pages, uh, packed, unpacked uh, art supplies, and then organized my art house and um, or this studio, I should say, and then also presented uh, at that co at a national art conference on Saturday morning. Um, it's been, in, in addition to the fact I've had just a crazy amount of uh, meetings um, as well, so uh, virtually from school. Uh, so I'm, I'm just real busy, um, and I will definitely try to plan those out, and I'll let you guys know the weeks art projects but right now it's um 
it's a time crunch uh, for me. I, my my days start around six thirty, and then they end around eleven p.m. So, um, and my wife is feeling a little lonely. And uh, in addition, I'm I'm been going to the grocery store, going on walks, and uh, trying to remain sane, uh, saner than I normally am, as you guys know. Uh, as some of you guys call me crazy, Mr. Parker, well, that is that, that nickname definitely does, um, stand out, uh, recently in the last week. So, um, anyway, enough of that. Uh, just keep in mind, if you miss, if you miss the projects, they're going to be, it's going to be uploaded to my YouTube, uh, my webpage, as well as, uh, my students Keystone, uh, Seesaw soon. Right. Um, Right, so today what we're going to do is we're going to focus on uh, Claude Monet's uh, red poppy fields. Now, I did. Uh, I, I, I went out to the lake on Saturday. My family owns a house um, in the lake in Horseshoe Bay, and so I went up 281. That's uh, a highway here in San Antonio, um, going um, going north. And there is, there was a, a first lady, the wife of the president in the seventies by the name of Lady Bird Johnson. And she started this pr uh, beautification program of Texas that were uh, seeds, wildflower seeds were thrown on the highways, uh, on the side of highways to beautify the highways. Uh, we have uh, here, we have what's called the Sunset Mexican Blanket. Uh, we have the Indian paintbrush, which is kind of like this electric red uh, Indian paintbrush. Has. Our Mexican Mexican blanket is a series of yellows and reds. Uh, we have an Indian paintbrush, which is sort of an electric fluorescent red. We have, the, of course, the state flower of Texas, which is the Texas blue bonnets. And then we have purple cone flowers. There's also uh, black eyed Susans, which are... Uh, kind of a daisy yellowish tone um, that are beautiful. If you know uh, the Beckers, they have a winery that's out towards Fredericksburg and right across, like real close to there, um, in between Fredericksburg and Johnson City, they have uh, a, a winery or their, their grandfather owns a winery. And um, there's the Texas Wildflower Center um, in there. And there's also in, the, in South Austin, there's a Texas Wildflower Center. Uh, well, out there, there's mirror, and I'm, I misspoke. There's like a wildflower seed company that's just beautiful. I, if you're doing anything, you want to go on a trip, a road trip, just drive out to Johnson City, Fredericksburg area, and, and see their, uh, see this beautiful uh, group of wildflowers. It's awesome. Um, it's right by LBJ, uh, LBJ Park, I guess. All of so that. Um, Anyway, so today what we're going to do is we're going to do a landscape. And um, if you wanted to do red poppies as well, that's great. Red pop uh, in Georgetown, Texas, there is a, a red poppy festival in October, planned for October. I hope that I've gone there a few times. It's really nice, a lot of fun. Um, I'm hoping that we'll be able to have that after all this virus stuff is, is come and gone. So um, we're going to do a landscape painting if you have some paper. I'm using some watercolor paper today. Um, okay, you spelled cat. Um, I'm going to use some watercolor paper and then I'm going to use uh, green oil pastels. I'm going to do some blue bonnets and then I'm going to do some uh, Indian paintbrushes because that's what I saw. This weekend, um, if you want to do any of these flowers or even your own flowers, you can. Um, and then I'm going to paint it um, with some watercolors. So, um, okay, I'm going to move the, my laptop camera webcam over to uh, my board. Oh, before I did this, uh, before I do this, uh, I wanted to say a special shout out to Pia, Lily, uh, Max, Devora. Uh, Alex, Aria, Jacob, Hannah, Aditi, Dev, Sophie, G, Luke, G, uh, Madison, Mason, Nermal, and Gabriel for uploading some stuff to Artsonia. Uh, way to go. Good job following directions. Um, and uh, that's really, really awesome. Uh, the 
Gabriel has been uh, an art creating machine in second grade. Uh, I think on Friday he he did like 15 pieces of art and uploaded them. Uh, really, really good. If you do some art, um, feel free to upload that to Art Sonia. I have a a, a stay at home uh, art project that um, on Art Sonia, so you can you can do that. It's on artsonia.com. So. Um, Layla, I'm sorry that you, you got a bee sting. Um, that's one of the, you gotta be careful when you go out in the wildflowers, anybody taking pictures in the wildflowers and there, if, if you do, please, please, uh, be careful because you can, there's bees and also snakes sometimes. So you gotta be careful, but, um, oh, Hey, another thing too, Cecilia in uh, second grade, I saw your video and, uh, doing some sort of dance, um, some sort of movement thing. I thought that was really cool. So, um, Good stuff. I, you know, I, I miss you guys, and I, um, I love seeing your artwork, but I also love seeing your videos. So uh, you can do that as well. So I'm going to move the, the camera over here. I'll put my glasses back on so I can see. I have my smock on because I'm going to do some painting. that down so you can kind of you can kind of see a little of that i'm not 100 percent sure but i've got my oil pastels and i'm going to got some colorific ones today i'm going to use green to start off most of the time i've done some uh, i've used some markers but today i'm going to use some some green oil pastel so if you've been to Texas, if you've driven through Texas, um, it's called the Hill Country. We're in the Hill Country, and just north of us is in the Hill Country. So um, I'm going to just do a nice little hill that's right there. You can kind of see that's a, it's a little bit dark. Uh, let me let me get my lamp and take the shade off of it. <laughs> and knock stuff over. Maybe a little bit better. better. So I got a nice little hill that's going right in here that's green. And then I'm going to take a blue oil pastel. And I'm just drawing. I'm going to start off with some blue bonnets because the blue bonnets are in the season in season right now. And It's just a series of little blue petals. I'm going to do one here. I'm going to do one here. And it's almost like little loops, little loops. And parents, I want you to understand that I'm holding my laptop and uh, with my left hand and drawing with my right hand. It's not the easiest thing to do <laughs> at all. So I'm making these really, really big, uh, these flowers, uh, because they are what are called in the foreground. Foreground would be something that would be close to us. And just a little while, we'll do stuff in the middle ground as well as do stuff in the, uh, oh, you did. Oh, you opened. I didn't see that, William. I'm so sorry that I missed your, I'll, I'll uh, definitely upload, I'll check that out. Give you a shout out tomorrow okay i'm so sorry but anyway i've got five flowers that are right there and then i'm going to do some green these are the stems and stems are normally quite vertical vertical means that they're going up and down and then we have some leaves like so So we have that. And then up here, I'm gonna do some smaller ones, just a little bit smaller. And the reason why we're making them smaller not is because they're babies. They're not baby flowers. These flowers are really kind of super small to begin with. But these are just a little bit farther away. They're 
they're supposed to be, they're supposed to look like they're a little bit farther away than, than, these, than these guys down here. Things normally, when you take a photograph, things that are bigger are normally down here at the bottom. And things that are a little bit higher, maybe are a little bit smaller, but not too much smaller. So now, just like in Monet's piece, there, there is this nice little field over here. And with that, what I would do, we would not do petals. We would just do some little blue specks. There are fields of blue. And we have some people that are in, uh, not in Texas, not in San Antonio that are tuning in that maybe have never seen blue bonnets or maybe you have, I don't know. But it's quite beautiful in spring. We also, when I was at the lake, we saw a whole bunch of ducks that were migrating in these sort of form formations like so. It was quite beautiful. And I'm just doing little dots. Now, if you have markers, um, you can do little dots, you can do little specks. Um, that looks great. I'm going to switch to some red because the reds are supposed to represent the Indian paintbrush. Oh, that is, there you go. I'm trying to keep my, my computer as, as flat as possible. So I'm going to start off with green. I'm going to do another stem. In this case, what I'm going to do is These Indian paintbrushes, they are little diagonal lines, like so. And they call Indian paintbrush because they look like a paintbrush. And why would I not have a flower on here called an Indian paintbrush in art class? What do you think? Now over here, what I can do is do the same thing, little specks, the red. Guys, I'm gonna put this back over here because I'm, I think my back is about to give out. I don't want that to happen. Now, uh, in well, driving down the road, there are also a lot of trees that are in Texas. So what you can do is you can, connect, uh, you can create this sort of line that's more of a scribbled line, not a straight line, but that is supposed to represent the line of horizon. Now the line of horizon is where the sky actually meets the ground, whether that is the trees, whether that's dirt, whether that's a mountain, that is what that's supposed to represent. And 
if you wanted to, if you are like Jacob and Hannah and live in North San Antonio and in Bernie, there's lots of different trees that are up there. And so I am going to just color in some scribbled lines. This is supposed to represent what's called the canopy of the tree. And I'm gonna alter it with dark green and light green here. Oops. We're doing a little bit more of a landscape piece here. Has anybody ever seen some blue bonnets on the side of the road? Bet you have. So I'm gonna go back and do some light green back here. And it's rain, so the landscape is, the grass is green, not the brown of the summertime, but a tan. I'm going to just do some slight coloring in, in green here. Trying to give it a little bit of texture to it. And then I'm going to maybe do another line in the background, like so. I have a line of horizon. I have some wildflowers that are right there, just kind of like the outline. Let's see what we got here. You have them growing in your yard? Oh, excellent. That's good to know. That's good to know. All right. So before I begin, I'm going to just get some gray oil pastels and do some outlines of clouds. And these are just kind of scribbled type pieces. Because, so I, uh, for my car, I have a convertible and I wanted to get some sun this, this weekend. So I put the top down and wouldn't you know it, I ended up getting rained on last night. Uh, Jacob and Hannah had said that it was raining and burning today, but uh, it rained on me yesterday. So it's kind of crazy. Uh, all right, I'm going to get some water. Here, uh, add some more. Give me, here it is. Here you go. Got some water. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some watercolors. I have some Prang watercolors here today. Um, now, if you're using watercolors, it's best that you get a clean water. And I like to use this small paintbrush for mine. Um, I'm going to dip it in the water. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just put a little bit of water in the paint, okay? Now, some people like to put what is called a wash of color down on the paper before you do it. Um, that's fine, it lightens the color, it diffuses the water, and it kind of spreads a little bit. Um, I like, if you wanna have a solid, darker, more opaque color, I like to just keep do a wet on dry so I'm going to just start now. I'm going to do some painting here. And it's okay if you color over those oil pastels because the oil pastels sort of act like a really nice uh, raincoat and it protects the paper. It's called a watercolor resist. Now, for you, you most likely would not paint 
with your paper vertically, I'm having some dripping issues going on here, um, which are okay. But not too much water. A lot of you guys like to take your, your brush and, and jam it in the water can and jam it in the water can, or in this case, a water cup, and then you put it in the paint, and then you put it back in the water. Don't do that because it washes off all the paint. So, one other thing I like about watercolors too is mixing the color. So, if you want to mix some yellow and some some blue or yellow and green, you can make a yellow green, kind of like a Kermit the Frog color, um, if you're familiar with that. And, or you can mix some green with maybe some black and make a darker green, that would be okay. What I also like to do is not paint the entire thing where it's all one color. What you can do is you can also uh, you can use the paintbrush and add some more blue bonnets if you want to do some more stuff. I'm going to wash off my paintbrush. You can kind of see, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. You can kind of see the colors. I have the clouds that are in the background here that I'm going to paint over here in just a second. I'm going to add some yellow here in a little while, maybe a little bit darker because there's going to be shadows underneath those canopies of the trees. It's casting a shadow, just like my hand. Maybe you can see my hand is casting a shadow. You see that? Um, a tree's leaves cast a shadow on the ground from the sun. So um, this will be a little bit darker. These will be a little bit brighter. And then when it dries, what I'll do is I'll come back with some oil pastels and kind of clean it up a little bit, adding some more color and more color and more color. Um, I've said multiple times in class, but also in um, on the videos, you know, you're not really all, you're not really ever done, done with artwork. You can always add to it if you want to. So I said to my, uh, my cousin Karen, who's logging in with her kids here, that I went to Austin yesterday and dropped off my grandmother's birthday present. I got her some uh, pair of pants, uh, three pairs of pants and a Vera Bradley wallet, and then some uh, some herring. Uh, she wanted some herring, so I went to Ikea and got some herring for her. Um, quite the, never been a herring silt fan, um, but she wanted it, she was super excited. Um, she turned 99 a couple weeks ago while we were in spring break, and so I missed her birthday, and then all of a sudden this, all this, all this stuff happened, and, I was going to take her out to dinner, which is sad, but um, maybe when it's all done, we'll do what we do. All right, so I'm going to wash my brush and then now go into the blue. So. Paint some of that sky blue. Water, paint, paper. Now it's all right if you just kind of spread the color out. It does not need to be completely opaque. Now opaque means how solid the color is. It can be transparent where you can kind of see through it. Sky sometimes is a solid blue, but sometimes it's, it's not. Sometimes it's, you have these wispy clouds like I drew today and you can kind of see through it. You know what would have been cool? Um, I drove back during sunset yesterday 
and maybe if we wanted to, if you're not to the sky yet, maybe you want to do a sunset. Texas has some really good sunsets. How are you guys coming along? You doing okay? This is called a landscape. Now, um, I'm doing this on Facebook Live, and I am friends with a lot of your parents, and there's this kind of movement going on where people are trying to remain positive, and they're posting a whole bunch of landscape photographs. Um, my family and I, we went to Belize a few years ago, and so I posted a picture from Belize. Uh, we went to stay right on the beach, it's beautiful. My cousin Karen is on here. She does, she doesn't live too far from, uh, from the beach in North Carolina. Uh, the Corys, they just went to the Great Barrier Reef. I saw a lot of pictures from the Great Barrier Reef there from them. Very cool. Have you guys ever been to the beach before? Maybe you have. It's my door, the Explorer moment of the day. So some people were, uh, I got an email from uh, some people that were a little nervous that they were missing the live broadcast because their parents had to use their computer for work. And, you know, that's a lot of, a lot of people are like that. They have their parents having to use, they only have one computer or two com computers and both their parents are having to work from home. Uh, we were having to do that. We have, my daughter's taking her classes. Um, in her room on her computer and i'm using this i'm actually using a couple different computers right now to do this and then my wife has to use her computer some people are doing this on an ipad uh, watching on an ipad and some people are watching it a little bit later on um, takes from their seesaw and that's completely okay what i just want to want you guys to do is just create so whether you do it at one from one o'clock to two o'clock or whether you do it at three or whether you do it the next day, it's really, it's all the same to me. I'm gonna come back in here. Oh, I got a little bit too much black there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just use my smock and you can use a paper towel, but I'm gonna just do this thing called blotting. Now, if you get too much watercolor, you can actually take a walk, take, you put it on and then you can blot it. And you can even smudge it a little bit, but the watercolor is sick, stick in. It, uh, there you go. I'm getting a good dark green now because I have some black on my, my brush. I'm filling that in. And I'm gonna actually, I'll paint some trees up here in the background, fill in some spots. That one's a little bit dark, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna blot it. Now I'm gonna do something in the clouds. We had some clouds. Yesterday and Saturday, they were a little bit ominous, a little bit rainy. And what I like to do is I like to get that paint and then, then to make a lighter, just put some water 
on my paintbrush. Fill that in a little bit. And again, you don't have to paint that entire area. I'm doing some wispy clouds. Now, some of you guys might be, might be doing some, uh, I like to call them Charlie Brown clouds, which are kind of the curved line, curved line, curved line, curved line. You know, try to break it up. If you have taken second, if you are past second grade, in second grade, they have a, a cloud unit um, that they teach to all the different kinds of clouds. Miss Cook or Miss Orende are, they are the experts on clouds. So, how many people remember that? Do you remember that little outfit? Or remember that little lesson? Now, I just made mine a little bit darker, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to beautiful oops that thing. Okay. If you make a mistake, it's okay. You can beautiful oops it. With this, since I'm working with oil pastels and watercolors, I could come back and go over this piece with some oil pastels and make a, make a problem into a masterpiece. And I think I'll do that, just that, a little bit later when it dries. I'm going to come back in here. I'm dipping yellow and green together with a little bit of black. Kind of giving a little bit more definition to some of these fields. And this is really one of those lessons where you can squiggly lines and scribbles are good. I'm going to go over some of those stems with some paint. Now you want to be careful when you're using watercolors that you get, don't get too much paint on it because what will happen is the paper will get super saturated. Have you ever felt a sponge and it has too much water in it and then you squeeze it and it just shoots out all over the place? Well, it's the same way with paper, but it, it will actually disintegrate and you put a hole in your paper. So, so what I got here is, that's my, my landscape right now. You can see the line of horizon right here and then we have a hill that's right here and then a hill that's right here with some fields now i got some paint on there i'm gonna let this dry for a second if you're using watercolor paper it dries really quickly and then uh, i'm going to come back and i'm going to tackle this with some more oil pastels adding some more color and more color and more color so uh, again you're always you can always add to it. You're never really done with art. So it's really, I think it's really fantastic. So um, if you wanted to, I see that it is 140. We've got a few more, few more minutes left. If you are finished, you can draw a pot with blue bonnets, or you can draw some uh, wonderful, a wonderful rendition of your front yard. We've got, I wish I could zoom in on my app, my webcam, but again, we have the Mexican sunset Mexican blanket. We have the Indian paintbrush right there. And then the blue bonnets. Maybe your, maybe your favorite color is purple. And if it is purple, you know, you could do the purple cone flowers that are right there. I forgot to write the name there. But um, we have Indian paintbrush. 
the Sunset Mexican Blanket and Texas Blue Bonnets. And underneath there, I have the, the Latin name. It's a different language, but it's the Latin name of the flower. It's there. So, how are you guys doing? You doing okay? So again, what we're doing today is we're doing some mixed media where you use multiple kinds of work or of art supplies to create your masterpiece. Um, I am going to, I've got this really cool fluorescent blue and blue bonnets, you get a good one. They're some really fluorescent blue. I put some royal blue on there, but now this one is fluorescent blue. And I wanna just fill in some of the spots. Now, things that I have planned uh, for next week and week after is maybe, you know, maybe you, uh, maybe you don't like the lesson or maybe you don't like how yours turned out. I have some, some I'm going to do a daily art challenge with, um, and put it on my website, but also put it on your Seesaw. And... Um, It'd be something that you like, what did you eat for breakfast? And uh, draw what you want to do for breakfast or draw, what's your what's your favorite spice? And uh, there's a lot of artists that are doing line drawings right now and putting it on uh, Instagram and Facebook of line drawings and then painting it. Um, this was kind of cool. So I told my daughter this weekend I was gonna do some flowers. And so last night, so she, she drew this with a Sharpie marker and then painted, painted this canvas and then painted the flower. She did this one, which is in yellow. Uh, she did this nice purple one. Um, so we have a lavender color. The light, light purple is lavender. And we have this regular purple tone, a little bit lighter. Um, we have the light blue piece. And I asked her what kind of flower it was. She's like, ah, oh, you know, I just did it. I just did the flower. I just wanted to do something that was kind of nice. And then uh, we did this. She did this pink one, and then it has almost a, a darker pink. Uh, that's right there. So she made a nice little series, and she's going to be hanging it up in her in her room. Um, you know, one of the things that's really nice about this, I was telling my uh, high school kids to go for a walk and take their phone and just. Um, just take photos. And that would be a good idea for you guys too. Um, if you could go and take photos of what you're doing and um, how you're doing it. Uh, maybe some um, take some pictures of nature, take some pictures of um, your mom, your dad, um, your brothers and sisters, your pets. And then you can kind of go from there. I, I had uh, some apps installed on your iPads. Did, you, did any of those apps get installed? Do you know if they did? I have on my webpage, there's also a, a, a link called uh, creative apps that are broken up into categories. There's really good uh, photography apps. Uh, filters. There's that UCAM fun that I talked about before. Um, Murmur. How many people remember Murmur? Murmur is a pretty good one. I like that one a lot. Um, so right now you can't really see, but um, I'm going back over the oil pastels and what's really cool about oil pastels and mixed media is um, once you have paint down, you can go on top of it and um, add to it. And that little area, this little area that's right in the middle here, see how it's a little bit darker. I'm going to go over that with some uh, grays and whites and kind of thin that out a little bit. And what that's going to do is it's going to be a shadow in the sky. So it's 
going to be super cool. Remember, you take that Barney Salzberg approach and beautiful oops it where you make a mistake and make it into a masterpiece. I don't know if that's exactly what he said, but that's kind of my, my interpretation of the beautiful oops piece. Beautiful oops philosophy, if you will. How's it come along? Are you guys, uh, Layla is, that was good. Um, Jacob said it was your grandmother's birthday. It was your grandmother's birthday yesterday, huh? Uh, how old is she? Do you know, Jacob, how old your grandmother was? Again, Dora the Explorer. You don't know. So I talked to Mr. Gonzalez uh, on Saturday. He's doing well. He was in Oklahoma. Uh, have you guys had music yet? Has anybody had music? And I talked to Coach P. Uh, Art is your life, Layla. Well, that's fantastic. It's good to hear that. Currently, right now, art is my life. Uh, I'm glad that you're enjoying it. So um, it seems like we've gotten a few less people um, this time. And I had to send an email, like I said, out. Of, it might have been a little, confused, a little confusing, but I am going to be continuing to do this um, every, every day, Monday through Friday, minus the holidays. Um, so if you, if you talk to your friends and you can say, hey, you know what? Uh, you can tune in. And again, if you can't tune in, um, the videos will be on Seesaw, a, a link to the videos. Um, it's taken me a couple days to figure that out, how to do that. So, what do you guys, do you like school for, at your house? You missing school, missing your friends. Now, uh, with oil pastels too, one of the things you could do as well is uh, you can smudge them uh, with your finger. Um, Another cool thing that I have discovered is you can get like a Q-tip and maybe some baby oil and just put a little bit of baby oil on top of it um, or on the Q-tip and then smudge it. And then put it back in and then it's starting to come down. Let's see. The tree line, this is called the tree line that's right here. I'm gonna add some more color and more color. My clouds are looking not too shabby. My flowers are looking looking good so far. That hill is very very steep. It kind of reminds me. Um, so I was born in Western New York, and it used to snow a lot, and we would go sledding down this one big hill. And, um, it was a lot of fun. Yeah, I see that, it kind of reminds me of that.
Karen, we went to San Diego for spring break. It was a lot of fun. Spent some time in La Jolla. I saw, I think you saw, saw my Facebook photos. I think everybody's sharing a lot these days. So I could see it. If you miss it, I could see why. I would love to live out there. Of course, if I lived out there, I would not have this relationship with these crazy kids that are tuning in to my broadcast, my live stream. I can just hear Layla right now. Oh, Mr. Parker. <laughs> It would not be a day in art, Layla, if I wasn't teasing you just a little bit and having a laugh. I'm going to use this this yellow. Um, I didn't show you the black eyed Susans, but I have them on my web page, mrparkerart.weebly.com. And I'm just going to give off the hint of some black eyed Susans. Uh, I'm, I'm doing a little bit of smudging. In that. So I'm kind of like purposely hiding it. I know that you uh, you can't see it probably. Um, well, I know you can't see it because I'm not showing it to you, but, um, what I wanted to do is I want you to kind of use your imagination a little bit and see, don't copy mine because like on the last week on the fruit bowl, like I asked people to do some fruit and, um, you know, Jacob, I think said he wanted moldy bread or whatever. And, uh, you know, it's draw what you what you have there in your house. And, if, and again, if you don't have uh, watercolors and you don't have uh, certain materials, it's okay. But you know, draw what you think, what you like, what you like to eat. Pizza lady, there you go. Um, so uh, the origin of that nickname was, um, you know, teachers actually don't live at school and they have their own lives. And um, we we do on occasion go out to eat dinner. And I went to go um, eat at this restaurant called Doe and with, with my wife on a Friday night. And um, Layla and her parents were sitting in the next table looking at me and um, she, got a, she got her own pizza, I think. And so then I started calling her pizza lady. And then she would like deliver, she would, was that in first grade or kindergarten, Layla? I don't remember. I think it was in kinder, when you were in kindergarten. And then she would say, oh, pizza, pizza delivery. And uh, super cute. Uh, that will, I will always remember that, Layla. I will always remember that. So I'm adding some more oil pastels and I'd probably come back with um, some more watercolors and add to it. And mix some colors up and do some fun things. But we've got, uh, I've got about 155 on my clock here. And so we got about five more minutes, uh, first grade, it's first grade, uh, about five more minutes left in the piece. I'm going to show you mine. There you go. Um, what do you guys have on plan for the rest of the or rest of the day? Anything fun? Hope you get outside. Hope it's not raining all day long and burning. Like you said, Jacob. Um, I, now I'm using this. I, did, I just found these wax crayons, which are like super, super um, crayons. Uh, it's kind of a mix between chalk and oil pastels. 
and add them to it, which is fun. I'm going to, after this is over, I think I'm going to go for another walk and be my third walk of the day. Or um, my daughter is going to finish up, I think, in about an hour. We might go for a bike ride. Then I'm going to work on tomorrow's lesson. I don't know what tomorrow's lesson is going to be. Um, I went on the, this trail today, and um, the trail went under a bridge. So to kind of maybe uh, might be doing some uh, do a bridge. I don't know. Um, I have some dogs. I have two dogs. I call the crack dogs, Quincy and Baxter, and they're nuts. Um, they're in. They're outside right now. And uh, I found an artist by the name of Mary Cassatt. Uh, she does a lot of stuff with animals. Um, she did, um, and she has a lot of artwork that is in the McNay. Uh, McNay is a is an art museum here in San Antonio, we have two really nice ones. So we have the San Antonio Museum of Art, and then we have the McNay Museum of Art. And then also we have the Witty. I don't know if you guys have, I think some of you have been to all three, if not, definitely the, the Witty though. But anyway, all right, I'm having, uh, I'm getting just about one, I'm 158 right now, uh, two more minutes, and then we're gonna finish it up. Um, if you could upload your stuff to Artsonia, um, I'm sorry, William, that I, I missed your stuff, but uh, upload it to Artsonia. Um, this is number six, and it is uh, Claude Monet and uh, Field of Flowers. Uh, the Artsonia uh, code is Y-X-H-N-K-R-P-P, -P, and then you just dial in your name. You should have that. Artsonia app, I think you do. If not, then you can do it um, from from the internet browser. So, um, how are you guys making out? You doing okay? Yep. Uh, missing a few people today, but um, please tell them that uh, I'm going to do this every day at one, and then you're and if if you're watching this after the fact. Please tune in if you can have that capability, but also understand that your parents um, have to do some work as well, and they might be able to use, they might need to use the computer. Um, so um, on that note, guys, um, I hope you enjoyed the lesson and um, I look forward to seeing what you guys did. If you try to do it on Artsonia, or if, if not, just take a photograph of it and put it to your Seesaw account and um, we'll go from there, okay? On that note, uh, hook them horns, anchor down, and good times. I had fun. Hope you did too. Bye, guys. Oh, you want to see my painting one more time? And I'm not done. I'm going to add to it. So um, we'll see you guys. Bye.